How to avoid these top 10 car buying mistakes. Friends, there's no way you can make these mistakes and expect a fair car deal at the same time. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, our star negotiator on the homework guy team. It's always a treat to be able to share the wisdom of amazing Elizabeth with you guys. Oh, thanks, Kevin. And hello, everyone. It's good to be back. Are you in the car market for a new purchase? Whether it's your first purchase or you're a seasoned buyer, Today we're hitting the 10 common car buying mistakes that we see and hear car buyers making. These are big no-nos. In this video, we'll walk you through these pitfalls and show you how to steer clear of them. By avoiding these 10 common mistakes, you can save money, make a more informed choice, and drive away with a car that better suits your needs and budget. Join us as we dive deep into each of these mistakes and equip you with the knowledge to navigate the car buying process more successfully. Please don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video helpful and subscribe to our channel for more valuable car buying tips and advice. Maybe even consider becoming a channel member too. Let's make your next car purchase a great car purchase. All right, mistake number one, skipping your research. Friends, it's so important to research the make, model, and market value of the vehicle you want before stepping on the dealership lot. There are so many ways to find information on the vehicle you're currently looking for, so there's absolutely no excuse for skipping this step. Here are just a few of our personal favorites. Edmunds.com is a comprehensive resource for car research, reviews, pricing information, and expert advice. You can find detailed vehicle specifications, reviews from experts and consumers, and pricing tools to estimate the fair market value of a car. Some good stuff there. Balance it out by adding these others. KBB.com. Kelly Blue Book is known for its pricing and valuation information. KBB, so that you know, is under the Cox Automotive umbrella, so they have real-time data connected to Mannheim Auto Auctions, the biggest auction company in the U.S. You can use KBB to check the estimated value of a car, read expert reviews, and compare cars side-by-side. -side. Then there's CarAndDriver.com. Car and Driver website features detailed car reviews, buyer's guides, and comparison tests conducted by automotive experts. There's always ConsumerReports.org. Consumer Reports offers independent and unbiased reviews, ratings, and reliability data for various car models. Their insights are valuable for understanding a car's performance and owner satisfaction. And don't forget about MotorTrend.com. MotorTrend provides car reviews, road tests, and comparison articles. They also offer a wide range of automotive content, including videos and news. And then, of course, there's always JDPower.com. JD Power is known for its quality and reliability ratings, which can help you gauge the long-term satisfaction and dependability of a particular car model. If you make it through all of these sites, let me tell you something. You'll know far more about the vehicle you're shopping for than the salesman will. I can promise you that. So true, so true. Mistake number two, neglecting a pre-purchase inspection. You should never skip the crucial step of having a trusted mechanic inspect any used vehicle that you're considering. The better car dealers are not only fine with you taking their vehicle in for an inspection, but they'll often let you sign it out at a no-cost rental agreement and even keep it overnight if necessary. I know because I've done it myself without any problems many times. Mistake number three, ignoring the total ownership cost. Understand that the cost of ownership goes beyond the sticker price and includes things like car insurance, maintenance, and fuel. I've seen a monthly insurance bill equal a car buyer's payment, and that's not a surprise you want to learn from the hard way. No way. Mistake number four, getting upsold on features. You must avoid being convinced to buy expensive add-ons and features that you don't need. Besides, dealership extras are typically much more expensive than if you were just to seek other alternatives. You can often find similar products or services at a lower cost from independent providers. So, for these reasons, be careful. And no, you cannot be forced to buy extras just because they say, we already put that on the vehicle. Take the time to learn about tied selling, friends. We've said it so many times that it's illegal. A dealer cannot legally require you to buy something you don't want to just because you're buying their car. If you don't defend your rights, who are you hoping will defend them for you? Absolutely. Nobody better than yourself to defend your rights. Mistake number five, focusing solely on monthly payments is a big no-no. Basing your decision solely on monthly payments can lead to overpaying price-wise in the long run. To achieve a lower monthly payment goal, the dealer just opts to put you into a longer loan term, mm -hmm. such as 72 or 84 months. While this reduces the monthly payments, that's very short-term thinking because it extends the duration of the loan, resulting in higher overall interest costs. Buyers who concentrate on monthly payments are more likely to overspend on a car as they focus on fitting the payment within their monthly budget 
rather than considering the overall affordability of the vehicle. Last but not least, it starts your vehicle ownership off on a very weak negative equity situation and it leaves you stuck with needing a very expensive gap policy and often from the dealer. And just like that, you're out another thousand bucks. Mistake number six, not considering the resale value. There's significant importance in thinking about the car's future value when making your purchase today. Resale value is often a reflection of market demand for a particular make and model. Resale value directly affects your financial outcome in the end. A car that retains its value well can result in lower overall ownership costs because you'll lose less money through depreciation either when you decide to sell it or trade it in. Mistake number seven, rushing the decision. You should always take your time, slow things down, and not feel pressured into making a quick decision. There's only one place the dealer wants you to slow down. It's in the finance office, and it's in the time right after price negotiations because they know your guard is down and they're hoping to get you to spend a lot of extra money. Where I'm saying you should be taking your time is every step leading up to the sale, especially during price negotiations even if it means walking out and coming back at a later date when the dealer finally comes to their senses, you should also take your time reading the car contract the finance office puts in front of you. I'm telling you this much, friends. Take enough time that the finance officer starts getting up and pacing. He or she will say, take your time. But at this point, they just want you signed out and out of that chair to make it available for the next victim. So true. Mistake number eight, not checking the vehicle history. There are significant risks if you fail to verify the car's history, including accidents and title issues. Here are some places you can check vehicle history and some you may not have thought of. Of course, there are places like Carfax, which is one of the most well-known vehicle history report providers, offering detailed reports that include accident information and title information. Many dealerships and online car listings include Carfax reports. Always check them over when the dealer makes them available. There's also AutoCheck, a company owned by Experian, which offers vehicle history reports, accident information, title history, odometer readings, and more. It's a direct competitor to Carfax and is often used by dealerships. But then there are places like VIN Audit, the National Motor Vehicle Title Information System, which is a government database. There are several others too, like VehicleHistory.com, iccars.com, which offers a free VIN check service, and several online marketplaces like AutoTrader, Cars.com, or Edmunds, who often include vehicle history reports. Last of all, don't forget about your insurance company. Some insurance companies actually offer free vehicle history reports to their policyholders as part of their services. Mistake number nine, skipping the test drive. Why you should always test drive a car to ensure it meets your needs and preferences? Why, oh why, would you ever skip a test drive? I remember having a customer come in on a minivan one time and insisted there was no reason for him to drive it. He says, I've always owned vans like this. He went through all of the paperwork, got signed out, and then went to take his vehicle home. Moments later, he showed up on the showroom desperately looking for me and says, I didn't know this van had a four-cylinder engine. It's gutless. I want my money back. Of course, we unwound that deal immediately, but I learned a lesson too. I never ever let another customer skip a test drive no matter what they said and neither should any of you. Don't ever skip that test drive, friends. And moving on to mistake number 10, neglecting financing options. This is a huge no-no. The benefits of exploring different financing options are critical to finding the best finance terms for you. How many times do we have to say, get a pre-approval at your own bank or credit union before car shopping so that you know what you qualify for? Many of you already get it, but for those of you who are slow learners or first timers here, if you're going to finance, don't be the person who walks into a dealership wondering what you can get approved for. You will immediately be victimized. Wow, do dealers ever love to do this to people? Don't ever do that to yourself. And then here's a bonus mistake today, but being totally worthy of mentioning. If you are not aware of the fee disorder that most dealers suffer from, and they have a list of fees dealers love to charge their customers, including your research or your refresher class, this video, 11 Fake Fees, it's one of our all-time top favorites. 11 Fake Fees has 4 million views and counting. It doesn't matter if you saw it before. See it again as a refresher before you go car shopping. With plenty of viewers seeking direct contact with us, Kevin, let's talk about our recently launched memberships. The two packages that give direct access to us are the Homework Guy Help Package for $24.99 that gives direct email contact with us. You can ask us unlimited questions via email, which will be a special email and dedicated to members only. The next package is Homework Guy Consults at $49.99. This package gives regular text message contact with both Kevin and me, 
and you'll also get direct contact with Kevin's personal cell phone. This is in addition to the email contact in the previous package. Just do us a favor if you sign up or already signed up for one of our direct help membership packages. Send us a text to 701-441-3399 and alert us that you're a new member. Staff will immediately forward your contact info to Kevin and he will get in contact with you. Absolutely. I also want to remind our regular viewers about all of our free content we have on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. So make sure you visit the website. Brand new on our website is THG's Car Dealer Wall of Shame. Do not visit these dealers, friends. Besides our website, you can also connect with us on other social media like Facebook. So go like our page if you haven't already done that. If you just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business, and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.